of farming is absent from our educational system. Relevancy and resources. This innovative model combines teaching agriculture and business schools within school-owned enterprises, which generate income to cover 100% of costs and providing post-graduation follow-up or a business plan for a family farm and a microloan. How does it work? This is a typical classroom in our school. Students learn the underlying concepts of business and organic agriculture along general education in a typical classroom. Then, during field-based classes, they learn how, to, how these concepts work in practice and how to use them. Learning by doing and earning, they gain the practical technical skills needed to master each discipline, and rotating through the school's 17 business units, specializing and taking on greater responsibilities. Managing financial transactions, monitoring profitability, learning to market and sell their products. We teach relevant life skills, not only technical, but learning to be, learning to live together, learning to learn, learning to do, learning to be an entrepreneur, and last but not least, learning how to make money. So this is an opportunity to go beyond the technical vocational paradigm that is humanities for the future middle class and blue collar technical education for the poor. This is going beyond, is using technical vocational, but because we, learn, we teach them these competencies, entrepreneurial competencies, they can learn what the market wants and not only learn welding as their lifestyle. This is a paradigm shift. And working with renewable energy, we have a biodigesters for cooking and learning how to use biogas, solar energy in our rural hotel and in the kitchen of the boarding school area. In Nicaragua, we are working with a coffee company that wants to have a self-sufficient school for the children of the coffee pickers. And in other areas, for example, in South Africa, we are working with communities. We help them write not an educational plan, not a business plan. We help them write an educational, productive business plan, which combines. We identify the competencies that the students need. We determine the type and size of school enterprise where they can learn those competencies. But then we analyze the market. Is there a market for yogurt in the supermarket in the town? How big is that yogurt or cheese market? Then with that information, we see can the school produce yogurt to satisfy that demand in the local supermarket and combine the competencies in the theoretical and practical classes. We develop a business plan, in this case for let's say our yogurt uh, uh, factory. We implement work plans and investment plans and then we integrate the curriculum with practical training. So mathematics and arithmetic is, okay, how big is the yogurt factory? How many liters of milk do we need to produce so many pounds of cheese to produce and to sell? It is relevant, appropriate use of theoretical knowledge. And then we assist our partners in obtaining the seed money with a break-even point in mind. This is a paradigm shift. We have sustainability as our prime concept, financial sustainability. We have earned income enterprise versus budget spending. This is the key to social entrepreneurship. The school director is not spending a budget that someone gave him, is earning the budget. So you can be sure that when, class, when students leave the classroom, everybody turns off the light. And that if a student does not wash her hands well and spoils the milk, that has a direct impact on the school. It is not theory you should wash your hands. It is practical implications. We work only with viable markets because among other things, with an unviable market, you not only lose money,
but it is not educational. So why would you teach how to raise ducks that may be very Asian, but in some parts of South America, they don't want to eat duck. They don't know how to, how to eat duck. So that is not a viable uh, educational enterprise. We are developing a network of clients and supporters, and there is a flow of financial resources to the issue. So it's financial sustainable. Operational sustainability, we have a deep management bench because it depends on that. We have a strong governance, and we have systems of measuring change and cost effectiveness. How often do you think we measure our impact? Every afternoon at five o'clock. We need to know how the production was every day so that we have feedback in the morning. This is not some theoretical concern is we need to make sure that every student counts every single chicken, every single hog, every single cow, every single goat, every si because this is, and three years of doing that, it comes naturally. We have uh, programmatic sustainability, we have supporting ecosystems, and we use impact data for learning and course corrections. And fourth, we have environmental sustainability. We use organic agriculture and renewable energy. But sustainability is not the only issue. We also are trying to find equilibrium change.